solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. Um, and and cutting to today, Raghu, you work with a, a lot of people on, you, you know, one of the things that struck me when I was doing the research for this conversation is in your website to define your dharma mm. as helping people becoming a better version of themselves. Can you talk a little bit about uh, just this, uh, just to understand the language when you say dharma, mm. what, what do you have in mind when you say that and how did you get here in your journey? Mm. See, the word dharma is actually a very simple word. Okay, it gets complicated, but it's a very simple word. The word, the way I'm translating it is, um, when I'm doing something, I have to ask myself three questions. First is, how is it enlivening me? How is my action enlivening me? How is it enlivening you or whoever I'm interacting with? And how is it enlivening the context mm. that all of us depend upon, right? Which might be the earth, which might be a larger context. Now, if all three are yes simultaneously, it's dharmic. And when you say enlivening, can you expand on that? Um, yeah, quite simple, yeah. You, you make cosmetics and you push somebody to wear cosmetics because mm. the brown color will become white. Mm. This is not dharmic. Right? It might increase your profitability, mm. but you're creating in the person who's using it mm. a self-deprecating mind. Mm. Right? Half the stuff that is put in there is bad chemicals, mm. might even give skin problems. How is this dharmic? Mm. Yeah, whereas Arvind Eye Clinic is obviously dharmic, no? Mm. The way they serve people, the way they work with, with, within themselves, it's a fabulous uh, way of doing business. Mm. So any action, you can ask this question. No? It's not a difficult question to ask, but it's a difficult question to answer. Mm. Right, and it's very obvious that the earth, the, the, all the crises that we're facing today is because enough number of people have not asked the dharmic question. Mm. And in your journey, uh, Raghu, how have you gotten to defining what is your dharma, which is in line with? Uh, uh, see, there are, there are two, three... Uh, parallel lines that I've been following in my life. No? Mm. The underlying question has always been how do people work, right? What makes them tick mm. and things like that because I was interested in that question for myself. Mm. And like I told you, now when I went into work, the first thing I hit was a turnaround situation. Mm. What I found there was that the mindset was impacting the business much more than the actual dynamics of the business, mm. how things were understood. Now, after this, I got into a series of, of consulting assignments, most all of which were turnarounds. Okay, so I worked with Barry Sugar. That was a turnaround situation. I worked with a, a yacht making company, again, uh, turnaround, everywhere. It's very, very clear that the psyche of the, of the person, how they look at business, how they understand the world, impacts the whole culture, mm. right? And that is very critical. So that was a very important question when I went into organizations. Now, the Dharampal thing had also triggered a whole set of engagement with craft and with grassroots work. Mm -hmm. I've done a fair amount of work with Dalit, groups and with uh, various developmental things. 
So, you know, everywhere you go, finally people are using resources, mm. right? Or people are reacting to situations. So you have to ask the question, now, how can each of us be the best that we can be? Right? And that includes the dharma question. You cannot believe that you're doing something honorable and you're doing the best without saying whether what I'm doing is dharmic or not. Mm. So, and I think it's a natural thing. Huh? Most people tend to be compassionate. Mm. Most people tend to think of larger things. I think there is a current discourse which is pushing individuality and pushing self-centeredness. Mm. Because when I meet people, there is a tension inside them. When they're doing something which is self-centered, they know. Mm. Right? And they pay a price through health, through relationship issues. One way or the other, they pay a price. Mm. 